boom, boom, chuck tick. Your first drum beat from 90 beats a minute to 120 beats a minute. Let's get going. Boom, boom, chuck tick. Ready and play and chuck tick. There we go. How's that feel? Really relax your left hand. Make sure you're not digging toward the hi-hat. Just let the stick kind of bounce on its own and just assist in the tiniest way. longer resting my right stick on my right shoulder. I'm bringing up my shoulder, I mean my stick, with my shoulder still, like this. But I don't want to rest it on my shoulder unless I stop doing this kind of thing. And if I talk, I do go back to that old technique of mine, you know, the natural body wants to do instead of what the drummer would like it to do. I wish I could talk and play drums at the same time. I'm sure I'll get better. We're at 100 beats a minute now. See, I'm not bringing my stick back as far as I used to with my hi-hat. Hi-hat's the loudest part of your drum set. And sure, there are songs where you're going to play this fast and you're going to bring the stick back. But what you're working on now is learning coordination. So you can save that stuff for when you've got that coordination really together. You play that kind of thing with your elbow. That'll always be available in some degree, even before you do it, if you have great coordination here. But lifting up your stick and letting it do its thing. Letting your stick spring up off the hi-hat. So how are your neutrals doing? Are you slouching in your chair like me just then? Now I'm going to demonstrate the buttronome, which is really like a spine trome. Bounce your head like this with your spine. My little brother coined that the buttronome when he was in junior high, and he saw another drummer doing that. But all beginning drummers do that. You just have to straighten your spine, sit straight on the drums, and then you won't do that. You won't bounce off your chair. Here we are at 110. songs in your head as you do this? I got a little excited there, didn't I? We're at 115 now. If you obst the astute observer We've well, noticed that I switched to a third finger grip for a while there. Now I'm back to my mannequin grip, and my snare drum hand. The man with too many grips. I don't believe that. I believe, you know, the more grips you have, the better off you are. 
Here we are. 119.5 seconds. I mean, beats per minute. Here's 120. Now let's just sit on this. We sat on it for 10 seconds now. It's not good enough to get to 120 and stop, right? We can play for a minute, we can prove that we can do it in a song. Alright, got 28 seconds left. seconds. This has been fun. I'll see you at 120 to 150 sometime. Put this on loop if you had any troubles. Do it again. Fun times. Bye-bye. Thanks for being here.